Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers to you. Believe it or not, do you know what's in here? I wish it was Diet Pepsi. It's plain, unsweetened iced tea. That's how much pleasure I'm getting out of this drink. But I am committed to only during the day drinking water. See, I would prefer to drink and some of you might laugh and go, what is the difference between drinking water and unsweetened iced tea? Maybe there's a little bit of flavor. I'd rather drink unsweetened iced tea than water. And to me, I'm getting my water <laughs> in by drinking unsweetened iced tea. I just, I, the only time I like drinking water is when I drink, uh, when I work out. Other than that, somebody says, do you want a bottle of water? I'm like, do I want to take a fork in my eye? No. I would rather have 17 Diet Pepsis, but that's just me. And don't judge me because that's never going to change. But anyway, I'm committed to drinking uh, nothing, but I have my two Bulletproof coffee, one to two Bulletproof coffees in the morning. I'm doing, we're going to get to that in a second because um, today is all about giving you guys my keto update, where I'm at with my weight loss journey. Um, and then telling you about my brand new online keto bootcamp for women, which is very exciting. And then telling you what is coming up here, uh, what to expect on my YouTube channel. So this is just kind of like a catch up, catch up with Kelly, get to know me, what's going on and what to expect on this exciting YouTube channel, because it is going to be very, very exciting. Um, but anyway, uh, back to the drink situation. Um, I'm doing one to two Bulletproof coffees in the morning. And then I'm right now, most of the time I'm doing OMAD or one meal a day. Um, again, I'm going to be talking about that a little bit more later, uh, in the video. And, um, so during the day and OMAD is really just a form of intermittent fasting, if you will. Um, during the day I am, um, drinking water and my ketones. Um, and, and sticking to that. And then what I do is I let myself have diet Pepsi with dinner. Um, that's my, my treat, my, my reward. <laughs> um, and, and that works for me because, um, you know, I just was, I, I will tell you, it has been a, one of my biggest weaknesses is hydration. And, um, certainly when you go keto, you really more than, not more than anybody, I shouldn't say that, but you really should be focusing on your hydration. And one of the other things I learned recently is how important it is to supplement with salt as well. So I have gotten back into my habit of uh, doing the Himalayan sea salt and um, lime juice every morning. So that's one way to get the uh, salt into my body because because what happens if you don't have enough salt? I was starting to get Charlie horses every night, like really bad Charlie horses in the middle of the night. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, and I really didn't realize how important it was to be supplementing with salt. So you can do that. And then you can also be doing uh, bone broth, which we have a really great bone broth with Prove It. And um, that is something that I do on my fasting days. So I'm, I'm doing OMAD about three days a week. And then I'm really working hard on doing two 24 hour fasts a week. And I'm also now doing, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. This was what I'm going to tell you, but I'm doing two high carb days a week. Um, so we will get into these details here shortly. Um, but again, just to give you a preview of what we're going to talk about today, I wanted to shoot this video, um, less about one topic, less about, you know, SEO and, and, you know, a, a very specific keto topic or hormone imbalance topic, and more so just catching you guys up where I'm at with my weight loss journey with keto, um, give you like the big picture and then tell you, you know, I have been obviously, um, I haven't been able to post here for the past two to three weeks. There has been just quite a lot, frankly, going on with us getting my um, five-day online keto boot camp for women launched. And the truth is, is I'm um, I'm just annoyed with myself. I'm just annoyed that 
I, I let a lot of stuff get in the way. Um, and I was just overwhelmed with, with the amount of, of work. And then finally, like, you know, for example, we finally, we were using a new platform. Uh, for the course. And um, we finally got the videos done and we got them uploaded. And then, you know, you're using these platforms, which are great, but, you know, all of these things, all these platforms tend to have one thing in common. It's just like a lot, a lot of these big companies, big platforms, you know, like I think of the email hosting provider we use. If you have a problem with something, there's no live person to talk to. So then you're left like going down a rabbit hole of trying to figure things out yourself. And the um, hosting company that we're using, it's actually a company based over in the UK. So even though I really like the interface, I mean, we were, I was kind of getting to the point where I wanted to switch to a new platform in the middle of it and just had delay after delay after delay after, you know, technical issue after technical issue. And then finally we were ready to go live on Monday and then GoDaddy was down all, all week. So like I waited to the last minute to, to forward kellysketobootcamp.com and then GoDaddy was down. And so GoDaddy was down, then we had all kinds of, it, it was just a comedy of errors. So that's why I've been absent. That's why I've been posting. And, you know, <laughs> then, you know, I've been doing all of this research and studying because I really am making you, my YouTube channel a priority now going forward. Um, and I, I will tell you a little bit about that, maybe a little bit later in this video. But, you know, a lot of you guys have been tuning into me for years. Some of you are brand new. Um, but the truth is, I've had a YouTube channel here since 2008. Most of the years that I was posting YouTube videos, I would post every single day. And it was just something that was I did on the side, just like my blog was something I did on the side. I never had a strategy. It was not about making money. It was just something that I did as a hobby. And yet after founding my first company, Fitfluential, and then founding my second company, Socially Fit Services, and, and running two businesses, I just always felt a little bit jealous of the um, influencers that I was managing, uh, the influencers and the bloggers and the YouTubers who were able to make their money serving an audience with their passion. And, you know, here I was, I had a blog, even though I wasn't blogging like I used to, and I had a YouTube channel, even though I wasn't YouTubing like I used to. And, and, you know, sometimes I would talk myself out of it. I'm like, I'm too old to do this. And then, you know, I started seeing many people my age doing this. And I just, as those of you that have been tuning into me for a while know, if you've been following me on other platforms for a while, you know. Um, maybe if you just stumbled on me, it's easy to pick up. I have a passion for helping women get fit. And particularly now that I've learned this myself, I have a passion for helping women figure out the importance of hormonal balance so that you can really get fit, you know, after you've hit 40. Because if you're not addressing your hormones, it's highly likely that, you know, the typical diet and exercise uh, efforts are not going to work. So that's my passion. And so all this time that I've been running businesses, I've had this sneaking desire to get back to being what they call a solopreneur, somebody who's just one person, not running a business with a bunch of employees anymore, not taking on clients, not doing all of that like I've done in the past. And uh, I finally made the decision last year to do it. I said, okay, as of December 31st, that's gonna be my last client and I'm gonna do it. And this is how I'm gonna make my money from my YouTube channel, from my blog. I'm gonna have courses, I'm gonna have eBooks, I'm going to have, you know, I defined my multiple streams of income like a smart person, blah, blah, blah. And um, I've taken quite a lot of courses um, to learn how to do all the things I wasn't doing before. Email marketing, never was doing that before on my blog, believe it or not. Um, with YouTube and my blog, I, I was never, if you guys go look at my history with my YouTube channel, you would see that when I would post videos, I would just put Kelly Alexa vlog, September 1st, you know, 2003, Kelly Alexa vlog, 
September 2nd, 2003. Kelly Alexa vlog, September. That's what I did. There was no SEO. There was no research. There was no me trying to be found. I just put up a vlog every single day and I got found and, and times were different then, but you have to do things differently now and you serve your audience and that's what I want to do. So, um, it was super frustrating for me to know that one of the most important things I need to be doing is be consistent and be uploading my, you know, creating my content and uploading my content and uploading it consistently. And I wasn't doing that, but you know what? Sometimes you just have to realize, like, cut your losses, accept what happened in the past and start where you are. And that's what I'm doing, y'all. I'm here, I'm ready, I'm committed, I'm excited. And now that my first, first official course is done and live, and it is my baby, it is my passion, um, this is going to be a really big deal. And, and, and I've never, I was just telling my assistant today, I said, I think this is going to be the most exciting chapter of my life, my business life and my life. Um, I'm so excited for how many people I can help um, with my experience, with my knowledge, with my expertise. I'm actually getting my keto coach certification as we speak as well. So there's that. Um, just a lot happening. So um, I do urge you to stay tuned. Certainly pass the word if you like what, what I'm throwing down here. Tell other people about this channel. Tell them to subscribe. Make sure you are subscribed. Of course, make sure you hit the little bell so that you're notified. All that good stuff um, because I've got a lot coming up and I've, I've learned a lot. Um, I've learned a lot over the years, but most particularly to have this massive transformation the past year to lose 36 inches and 30 pounds and have my entire body and health and life transform and to feel better and look better and to just, I can't even, I, I mean, I've said this in so many other videos, you guys, but to be selling 75% of my wardrobe on Poshmark because nothing fits. I've, I've never, I've never experienced that. Not just the, not, I'm not talking about, I've never experienced selling my wardrobe. I've just never experienced my clothes being this big. I've never experienced losing weight and keeping it off this long. I've never experienced uh, losing weight this easily and effortlessly. I've never experienced my body looking the way it does right now. And, and it's just stayed off. And it's like, so I'm eating more now. I'm, I'm clearly in maintenance mode. I've beyond hit my, my weight loss, my initial weight loss goal. Um, I haven't decided yet. And I'm going to talk about that too here in a little bit in this video. I haven't decided yet. I, I'm on the fence if I want to maybe like lose another five or seven pounds. You know, I, I look at my, like my lower belly. I still have that little bit of like belly fat. And that makes me say like, maybe I want to lose another five or seven pounds. And then maybe I say, you know what? I actually maybe don't need to lose weight. Maybe what I need to do is just get my workout game strong again. And maybe all of that will just tighten up. And that little bit of, you know, belly fat will naturally take care of itself. We'll see. Uh, because clearly one thing that has been horribly weak has been my workout game. Um, I'll address that shortly. But um, it is, again, to have experienced this, this transformation at age, well, it happened when I was 52. I just turned 53 in April. Um, it's just, a, it's just, it's amazing. It's like, I, I've been trying so hard to lose weight my whole adult life and it's evaded me and then to have this happen now and to feel better and look better than I really have all of my adult life and it's just been I mean I'm telling you it is so easy to keep it off it is so easy to sustain this I eat what I want I enjoy whatever I eat um, I'm eating more more calories more food um than, than before and the weight is not coming back on. Um, best feeling ever. And, and literally every woman that I have, who I have, that's inappropriate grammar, sorry. Every woman who I have worked with and coached with, uh, with keto, whether it has been a casual friend, 
um, who's come to me and asked for my advice or somebody I've really coached one-on-one with, um, every single woman who I've worked with who's taken my advice and applied what I've said to do has lost weight. Even people who have previously not been able to lose weight on keto or said that they tried keto and gained weight or that they went on the keto diet before and lost weight and gained it all back, every single person, if they've taken my advice and applied it, has lost weight. And I mean, I'm talking like these women have lost 25 pounds or more over time. I'm not saying, I'm not, you know, making all crazy claims like, oh, everybody's lost 25 pounds in a week. Nothing like that. Um, That's been the beautiful thing is everybody seems to be just like me where it's been just like wonderful, slow, steady, consistent one to one and a half pounds a week kind of a thing. Um, But that's the better way to lose it is to lose it nice and steady and slow and to keep it off. Wouldn't you rather do that than to lose a bunch of weight fast and then have it all come rushing back on and more. Nobody's got time for that. Um, so I will update you first, which I've kind of already done. Um, but obviously, like I said before, to bring you up to speed with my weight loss, um, I've lost 36 inches and 30 pounds going keto. I went keto, for those of you that don't know, I went keto uh, June 1st of last year at the nudging of my functional medicine doctor. I was the most skeptical person on the planet about the keto diet. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a fad. Uh, I was mortified at the thought of going keto because I was thinking about what people would think of me. I thought it was something that you know, no serious person would go keto. I had all the skepticism in the world about the keto diet, just like many of you watching this video probably do. Um, And I'm here to tell you that what I learned from my functional medicine doctor, what I continue to learn in books like The Obesity Code, uh, books by Gary Tobes, I will link down to these below. Um, Gary Tobes has written some excellent books. Dr. Joseph Mercola has written some excellent books. There's some excellent books on, on keto and the science behind keto. But, you know, the bottom line is, is I've learned from my functional medicine doctor from these books and from a lot of the information that my functional medicine doctor gave me to convince me to go keto. Um, is that many women who have issues not being able to lose weight after 40 are suffering from metabolic damage because of hormonal imbalance. And that is typically related to insulin resistance. And when you have insulin resistance, you know, the typical, you know, for, for a lot of women who have insulin resistance, not all, but typically calories in, calories out is not going to be sufficient. And if you're one of those people who has metabolic damage because of hormonal in, in imbalance, who is dealing with an insulin problem, who has, has reached the point where you're realizing, no matter what I do, I can't lose weight, guess what? You should be considering what I considered. And you, I'm telling you, it's the one thing I didn't do all those years was go keto. And when I finally did it and I finally sucked it up and said, okay, you know what? I've tried everything else myself. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do what my doctor said. And um, I went keto and I hardly was even working out. And that was not my plan. I'm not endorsing that. I'm not suggesting, hey, this is what's cool about keto is that you don't even have to work out. That's not my thing. Like, I'm just saying it's pretty remarkable how significant these dietary changes were because I was on the exact same caloric deficit prior to going keto that I was when I was on keto and when I, 1600 calories. And when I went keto, so I was on 1600 calories before eating carbs, not counting my carbs, quite a carb heavy diet, all the healthy carbs, you know, acai protein bowls, rice, quinoa, um, you know, the healthy apples, you know, blah, 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 the good vegetables, sweet potatoes, all of that kind of stuff, the organic meal delivery services, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I counted every damn calorie. I carb cycled, I calorie cycled, I intermittent fasted, fasted. I did everything, took all the supplements, bioidenticals. I couldn't lose a pound no matter what I did. 
and I tracked everything like a psychopath. Ask my husband because he, he watched it and he witnessed it every time we went out. And uh, then I go keto, 1600 calories. And the only time I counted my calories and my macros was literally probably the first 10 days. And the weight just came off effortlessly, 36 inches and 30 pounds. If you think that I would have thought when I started this, that I would have had that transformation, I lost four inches on my upper thighs alone. I lost four inches off my waist. I mean, I could just go on and on and on about all the different areas of my body where I've lost weight. I mean, when I tell you that I'm selling 75% of my closet on Poshmark, I am not kidding. My biggest problem, and I never thought I would be this woman that would say that, is that every time I get dressed and I try something on in my closet, more often than not, I'm literally like, oh, this is way too big. I've never had that happen. My whole life before this was constantly like needing to wear Spanx under everything, constantly complaining about, you know, excess bra fat, you know, over the bra, under the bra, feeling uncomfortable in every single thing I wore, feeling like I needed some kind of, you know, to camouflage, camouflaging with blazers, camouflaging with baggy tops. I mean, in fact, this very top is the type of top I used to wear all the time. And, and it's, it's odd because now I kind of feel funny wearing it. I'm just going to show you like, see this top, how it's baggy. You know, I would buy things like this because it would camouflage. I could wear it and, and then you couldn't see how thick my core was. And so now, you know, I've got a lot of tops like this and I, I feel like, well, I, I don't want to, I don't want to sell my entire wardrobe, you know, and it, it, you know, some people do wear baggy clothes when they've lost weight. But, um, anyway, it is, it is an amazing feeling. It is wonderful to feel great naked. I actually went to a pool party last weekend and I didn't bring my bikini or bring my bathing suit or anything. And my friend said, the second I got there, she's like, you are going to go in the pool, right? And my my immediate reaction was, oh my God, hell no, I'm not going to the pool. Well, she ended up convincing me. She gives me her one piece bathing suit, which again is most women's worst nightmare is not only being asked to go in a pool in the middle of the day in sunlight in front of other people, but then having to wear somebody else's swimsuit, you know, because if you wear your own swimsuit, you're in control of how tight it is, what it looks like, how it fits your body. You wear someone else's swimsuit, you have no idea. I wore her swimsuit and my husband saw me come out of the bathroom and he was like, Sarah saw me come out of the bathroom and she's like, damn girl. And I'm just literally like, who are they looking at? But they were looking at me. And I remember sitting on the edge of the pool and I was looking at my thighs going, I can't believe how small my thighs are. Now don't get me wrong. I mean, there's still parts of my body I'm, I'm, I'm not confident in. I'm not confident in the fact that I'm, you know, skinny fat in some areas. I, I, because I've lost weight, I've, you know, I, and I wasn't working out, I need more muscle tone. So I've like loose skin. I've got like, you know, the appearance of cellulite in areas like most women. And that drives me crazy and makes me insecure, but that's life. Like those things can be changed. And sometimes some of those things you have to just accept, but overall, I am so happy. I am so confident to be able to wear whatever you want to look better than most 25 year olds because most 25 year olds are drinking themselves to death and, and eating more than you can possibly imagine. I know I certainly was when I was 25. When I was 25, I was just moving home from Pensacola, Florida. I was 178 pounds because I was drinking myself and eating myself into oblivion. And I was the heaviest in, I'd ever been in my whole life. Um, that's a whole other story, but Going keto and living this keto lifestyle has been the best thing ever. And now you guys heard me talk about this in the beginning of the video. The great thing is, is that, you know, going keto, you can make this a lifestyle and then you can start to be in this, you get to the place where you reach your goal and then you get to start incorporating um, high carb days. So you're, you're not like having to be hardcore strict keto forever. In fact, they don't recommend that is what I'm learning. I'm learning that from the books I'm reading and, and the certification that I'm, I'm taking. Um, 
and and that means that you can also use this for the rest of your life you know depending every single person is going to be individual everybody's body and their dna and the way their metabolic rate and 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 how they lose weight and how they're going to be able to manage weight it's all going to be individual my level of insulin resistance and my ability to handle carbs is going to be completely different than than yours and that means that each one of us has to test things and find our happy place what i've learned is like right now i'm able to eat a lot a lot more carbs than i thought i could and and incorporating these two high carb days hasn't made hasn't made an impact at all if anything it's making me lean out even a little bit more which is pretty cool but um you know people get so intimidated by the keto diet and you got to realize like it is a method for losing weight and there's a smart way to then transition to the next phase but the bottom line is like eating a traditional carbohydrate sugar rich diet and what i mean by traditional carbohydrate sugar rich is i mean all the bad carbohydrates i'm talking about like the breads the pastas the grains the packaged foods that i'm not talking about fruits and vegetables and and all of that and grains is ambiguous that's in there like in between right i'm not going to say that quinoa is bad i'm not going to say that rice is bad anything like that i'm just saying like it's it's murky it's like in between there right mostly i'm talking about packaged foods and sugar cookies cakes protein bars uh, things with a ton of chemicals and all of that stuff in there but your cereals donuts danishes th things that when you go into a coffee shop 90 percent of the stuff in there is carbs sugars insulin response stuff you know if you live your life and that's 90 percent of what you're taking in you're going to have problems. You're going to have major health problems. If you generally have an approach that incorporates a lower carb lifestyle, you're going to have a healthier life. From, from what I'm learning, that's my opinion. Um, so that's my update. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, I am just also starting. You heard me say that when I was losing my weight, I was barely working out. That was not planned. Most of that had to do with me dealing with chronic migraines. Um, I have been diagnosed with PTSD. Um, that's a subject that I will get into in another um, in another uh, video. Um, my PTSD causes migraines. They are horrible. They are crippling, and that's a major reason why. I haven't worked out a lot over the past year to year and a half. I am now just starting to um, work out again and really enjoying it, trying some, and I'm finding that my workout tastes have changed. I don't find myself attracted to the gym rat style training that I was before. Different strokes, different folks. I'm not saying that gym rat style is bad. Gym rat style is um, not to be recommended. It's, it's just, that's what I'm into right now. Um, I'm also finding, I will just say this, and this will be some other topics, some other topics that I address. Um, just realizing now that I have hit my goal weight, kind of um, finding myself dealing with, I, I don't even know what you call it. I know there's a name for it, um, but where you still see yourself as your heavier self, you still see yourself and think of yourself as your heavier self, you still think that you should be dieting. You know, I'm realizing that I need to constantly remind myself I need to be eating more. I'm in maintenance. I'm not needing to be in a caloric deficit anymore. So that's that's an issue and I think a lot of women deal with that. They just are mentally, cr chronically drawn to dieting and not realizing you're there, you need to stop. Um, so I am working on that. Um, and then lastly, like I said before, I'm excited to announce that I have just gone live this week. The link will be down below with my, um, my baby. This was another thing that was created essentially by demand from my fans and my followers, 
which is my uh, five-day online keto boot camp for women. And by boot camp, a lot of people will think it's a workout. This is not a workout. I'm just using the word boot camp because it's a good descriptor word of like, it's like an experience. You get in, you get out, you do the work and, and you go. But this is essentially, it's an online class, it's video taught, and it's really me um, teaching you everything that I've learned in my experience, how to go keto, do keto what I call the right way, the Kelly O way that helped me lose 36 inches and 30 pounds, um, and, and answer the questions that people constantly ask me. Um, and, and again, the reason I say this is by demand is because I, as I shared my transformation, as people saw my transformation, I was constantly getting emailed, DM'd. I was, you know, getting asked the same questions over and over and over again. I was at, you know, getting people asking if I could help them. And sure, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, but number one, my one-on-one -on -one coaching rates are expensive, understandably and um, it is cost prohibitive for quite a lot of people. And number two, I wanna do less one-on-one -on -one coaching. I wanna be able to reach more women and um, at scale. And the way you do that is not to do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, I lose my voice very easily when I do a lot of talking during the day. And what I found is that when I was doing, you know, sometimes four sessions a day or more, and several days a week, you know, losing my voice, not only losing my voice, just getting tired and drained and not having the energy to do the other things I needed to do during the day. Um, and then doing that, and then on top of that, answering the same questions over and over and over again on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, on email. I'm like, here's the thing, people don't have any idea how to do keto. I mean, I, I would have people send me questions and say, I don't understand. I'm, I'm drinking the keto coffee and I'm not losing any weight. And I would say, what does that even mean? You know, what, what keto coffee are you drinking? And who told you that just drinking keto coffee was going to make you lose weight? Like people were, were asking, and I realized like, there's so much confusion about keto. People have no idea what they're doing. Even my dear friend, my best friend, She's like, oh my God, I did keto and I got so sick. And I'm like, what were you, you know, tell me what you were doing. And she's like, I was eating liver and eggs and bacon and beef every day. And I'm like, who told you to eat that? You know, did you eat salads? Did you eat seafood? Did you eat vegetables? Did you do any? Of she's like, no, I didn't know I could do that. I said, did you have chicken? Did you have, I didn't know I could have chicken on keto. And I said, who told you that you needed to eat liver and onions and beef only? She's like, I don't know. I guess I just thought that's what keto was. This is why people either don't do keto or they do keto and they quit really quickly. Or there's other things that people are doing. Other People think you can't drink keto on keto. They think you can't have any carbs on keto. They think keto is no carbs. They have all these misunderstandings. And so that's why they won't even start. And they're missing out on a fantastic life transforming opportunity. So my keto boot camp. It's five days. It is for women only. Um, and that is because I'm passionate about helping women, um, down the road. Maybe I will make this a co-ed course. Maybe I'll make a separate course for men, but right now it is a women only course. You buy the course for just $99. That is obscene because not only do you get the course, which is uh, eight modules, eight video modules, and then you get a private Facebook group where you can ask questions every day. And then once you're through getting through the modules, you can go into the Facebook group. You have lifetime access to all the materials and the Facebook group. So once you've taken in all the information and you're starting to apply that keto diet, you can ask all questions you want in the Facebook group. We go in there once a day and answer questions. Further, every month, I'm going to have special guests, um, interviews with real life transformation stories, um, special guest authors, practitioners, doctors, um, you know, as I learn, as I learn, you know, do more reading and get these uh, authors to come do interviews, they will be hosted in that private Facebook group. So it's a great opportunity to learn, to be able to ask questions, to meet other people on the same journey as you. It's 99 bucks. 
you're crazy to not take me up on it. Um, inevitably, this course will be expanded. We will probably take the price to $200 or $250. So now is a great time to nab it up and get started. If you have any questions, of course, don't hesitate to comment below and ask me, but otherwise the link is below. Um, I would welcome the opportunity to help you. Um, it's This keto situation has obviously changed my life forever, and I'd love to see your transformation. I mean, a year ago, it's just a little over a year ago that I started keto, and you know, by the holidays, I was 36 inches and 30 pounds lighter. That's what I'd love to see for you too. So. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know in the comments below what questions you have. It was good catching up with you. Make sure you're subscribed. Um, I've got a lot coming up on this channel. Like I said, this is going to be a primary focus for me. We are going to be publishing three videos every single uh, week. I am changing my schedule, so I believe we are going to be publishing videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now that I've learned how important it is to pick a schedule and stick to it as opposed to just randomly publishing, I will be doing that. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I will make sure I update my header here as well. Um, and then also make sure that you head over to kellyalexa.com and subscribe there on my blog because we'll be posting one blog a week over there. Uh, probably not going to be doing the podcast anymore. Um, again, just trying to make sure I focus and serve my audience where it's best. And I think video is the best uh, place. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope this was helpful. I can't wait to see you in my boot camp. Um, make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the cute little bell button. Make sure that you like this video if this was valuable. Tell your friends about it. Leave me a comment below and I will see you next time on The Kelly O Show. Hey guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. And of course, I am linking up to my keto playlist. I think we've got 20 plus videos that are all about my experience with keto. Check it out. I hope it's helpful. And of course, just comment below if you have any questions for me.